What's up guys, Pursued Fire here today with another Minecraft data pack tutorial. In the last one I showed you guys how to make a custom uh, item ability and uh, how to get it into the game and use it. And then today I've had a lot of requests for um, to show how to do a cooldown for said ability. So that's what we are going to be getting into today. So this is going to be based off the last one, so if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and watch the video before this one, um, and you'll see how to get right to where we are. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so a little refresher uh, to how we got here so far is we created a scoreboard objective. Uh, we named it Wand, and it is checking for any time we use a carrot on a skin stick so that is right clicking a uh, carrot on a stick and from there we created a check for click mc function um, and what this is going to do is it's going to check for any players whose uh, score for that wand scoreboard objective is greater than one or one or greater than if it is then it's going to run this function right here which is our check for wand function and what this function does is it just checks to see if um, the player that has used it is actually holding our custom item um, with this custom model data right here. That way, so every time you use a normal carrot on a stick, you don't have anything happen. It's just normal. And if we do, we're going to go ahead and run this function here called use wand, and we are going to reset that uh, score for the player. And then in use wand, all we're doing is simply giving the effect to the player. Okay, so to accomplish the cooldown effect that we want to implement here, uh, we're going to want to go ahead and go back to our load.mc function file here, and under where we created the scoreboard for the wand, uh, we're going to create another scoreboard objective, and we are going to call this one wand cooldown, and it is going to be of type dummy. So this is what we're going to use to actually count up every tick of the game uh, and then we will check that score to see if a player is eligible to use it again. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our tick.mc function file here and underneath where we're calling that function uh, we just want to go ahead and increment that um, score that we did. So we're going to go scoreboard players add at a for at all players wand cooldown one so that will go ahead and increment our wand cooldown by one every tick of the game and from there it's pretty simple we're just going to go back to our check for wand function here and after we check that the player that used the carrot on the stick is actually holding our custom model uh, we're going to want to go right after it we're going to type run execute as at e open and close square brackets scores equals open and close curly brackets wand cooldown equals and now here's where you're going to want to set your uh, cooldown time so for example here we'll just do 100 so we're going to want to do 100 and then dot dot after that so that's 100 or greater than and then after that it just continues as our normal function here where it's going to run that use wand function and the last thing we're going to need to do is we're going to go to that useWand.mc function here. And after we give our effect, we're going to want to reset that wand cooldown for this player. So to do that, just simply type out scoreboard players reset at S wand cooldown. All right, so now if we go ahead and jump back into the game and first remember to reload your data pack. And then we're going to want to go ahead and give ourselves that custom item. All right, so now that we have this in, as you saw before, when we would click it, it would go ahead and levitate us, and we can levitate infinitely. There was no cooldown, but now, if I hit this, boom, and I let the cooldown go, I'm clicking, and I can't use it. And then once that cooldown's up, we can use it again. Just so that we can visualize this a little better for you guys, we're going to go ahead and do scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, wand cooldown so now over here you can see the actual score ticking up every tick and then once we use the wand 
it goes back to zero. And then we can't use it again until that time hits 100 or more. All right, well, I hope this helped you out. If it did, please uh, feel free to leave a like, comment down below if you have any more suggestions uh, for more tutorials. Uh, and if you did enjoy it and want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. I just want to thank you guys again for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.